Yeah. Hello, mister. Doggy. All right, guys. Welcome back to the Motorcycle Shed. It's been a while, uh, offshore and blah, 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 excuses and whatever. But today we are back working on this piece of shit build that I'm meant to be cheap and quick. And it's, ah, would you know, a fucking helicopter. Piece of shit. Always interrupting my goddamn videos. Where is it? Anyway. <laughs> Poor guys are just going to work. And that's me. Uh, right. Okay, plan today is... Uh, there'd be a bit of a delay with getting this engine dropped off at the... Um, place. Engine boring place. Engine shop. Machine shop. Yeah, I tried to get it sent away last time I was heading offshore, but unfortunately that didn't really come to fruition. Uh, there was a bit of a, a mishap there, so I still need to get it dropped off. However, I'm going to try and do as much as I can um, in the meantime. So that means looking at uh, battery box, electrics tray. So I've already taken a sketch of this that I'm going to transfer onto metal. And I've got, I'm thinking what I'm going to have here is a battery box, or, well, an electrics tray, thin electrics tray that fits in here. I'll get some nice dinky electrics to go in there. And then underneath, I'm going to just use Hello. I'm just going to use a, a normal battery, uh, a 3D printed battery, which I'll show you in the garage, that will go underneath, so the battery will kind of sit in here. Uh, that way I don't need to dick around with rectifiers or any of that shit. I'm just going to use the existing ones, and I'm going to put the regulator rectifier in the bottom of that battery box. So it's going to be a box on top of a box, box section. And then I'm still going to use, because I've got these moulds made for side panels, that I made for the other XS750, I'm just going to make moulds, use, reuse the moulds on the side and make two more side panels to go on the side. Uh, I've also bought a... Uh, Christ, where's it gone? I've lost it already. Uh, I bought a quick release uh, mechanism to, to go in here. Oh, there it is. It's literally staring me in the face. I bought a quick release mechanism off of, uh, I think it's a KTM Duke. So that needs to go in like this, or in like this, and then I can reroute this cable somewhere. So I want to just, pretty much I want to get all the fabrication done on this thing. That's pretty much it. That little thing here, where I'm going to weld this box, I might just put a mount here so I can make the box removable. And then whatever I use to mount the uh, side panels is all that I'm really going to do fabrication-wise on this bike frame so then I can get it cleaned up repainted red for the purposes of getting a v5 because it was already red and DVL air dicks so I wanted to just make sure that I got it as close to fucking helicopters as close to uh, what I what it was for reapplying for a v5 as possible I've got some other wheels on the other XS750 that I'm going to stick on take the engine out give it a clean Check the second gear issue, get the re the top end, rebuild it, rewire it, boom, job's done. Sounds really, really easy. It's not easy. It's a lot of work. It's quite overwhelming when you think about it. But anyway, yay, fun and games. So, uh, for me today is to get these two battery boxes made, at least this tray here. Uh, I've got some 2 mil steel. In fact, we'll go to the garage and have a look at that, save staring at this anxiety-inducing shithole that is this shed. So, catch you in a sec. So, I 3D printed a box uh, just because I couldn't be bothered making one out of foam. I just, this is the battery dimensions that I needed. This is attempt one because um, I half asked this, but my thinking was I'm going to make another one. This is a one mil steel. It's really hard actually to get really accurate bends, especially with this kind of setup next to me. Uh, but we're going to have another shot of that today, now that I'm going to be on video, so I've got some 1mm steel, but I've only got enough 1mm steel left to make another one of these boxes, which is, well, we're sitting looking at it really, here. Um, however, I've also got some 2mm steel, which I bought for making some coasters, which if anyone's interested in the scully coasters, I've kind of got a, where are they? I've got 
this scully idea here. And that's it. I've got a prototype made that I turned into some coasters. I need to get my asshole onto Gus's garage and cut out 50 of these things, but I've still not done it yet because, like everything else, time just fritters away, especially when you spend time drinking and wanking instead of doing stuff. So, uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, where was I? Uh, right, um, so this here, I've got some 2mm steel that I'm thinking, because this shape's quite unusual, I'm not going to be able to bend it and fold it anyway. I will, and because it has to be, this is the base, it's going to have sides and uprights, and it's going to have to find a way to get mounted to the frame. I'm probably just going to make that 2mm thick steel, so that I can re try and remake this piece of crap, but more accurately, really taking my time on the bends and making sure all of it lines up, so I can then take it together. And so this will be my battery box. Can you imagine? This thing will sit like this. Battery box will sit underneath it. Hopefully. Christ, hopefully. Looks like it might actually. Interesting. Um. I cut this a bit shy, maybe this needs to be bigger. Because, well, actually no, this is wrong. That's shit, let's ignore that for a minute. Yes, plenty of room. There's plenty of room in the battery box. And then around here. So, this whole battery box will hang off the bottom of that. Uh, and then I'll need to find a way to mount, um, I'll just have it like sides and an end and then I'll get a little strap that will just pull this on here. So, um, We're going to start with bending this first and then we'll try and make the other one weld it together. So it should be a fun little fabrication video, hopefully it doesn't take too long. I'm probably just going to time lapse it again. Um, because unless I have any issues, if I can get this more accurate and get some nice bends and I'll speak to you and show you how But for the most part, I'm just going to be using this little bender here <laughs> And um, oh Christ almighty, what's going on with this? And yeah, and a few different straight edges and whatnot I wish I had a nice box folder that you could change the size of the insert for bending But I've only just got one bit of bar which in theory I probably could cut, but I've also got some other sized off cuts and whatnot that I can bend around instead, so we'll make it work. Uh, enjoy. See you. It's not beer yet. It's too early in the day. See you soon.
Right. This is not my proudest work, but. <sighs> no. Strangers. Anyway, this isn't my proudest work. Um, pretty difficult to try and get properly tight angles on that bender. And I don't know whether I'm using the bender wrong or whether it's just a piece of shit bender. I think it's a little from both columns, to be honest. But, it, the size of this box doesn't lend itself well to chucking it in the vise either and trying to like close around it and find a flat edge. So, it's kind of at the mercy of just scraps that I had to try and make this together. But I think, I'm gonna tack it and then weld it. Well, once it's tacked, I can kind of manipulate it a little bit more. Annoyingly, what seems to have happened is because it's built with quite a tight tolerance, there's it, some bits are slightly longer than others, which if I wasn't a goddamn perfectionist, it wouldn't bother me, but it does bother me because I specifically tried harder than this last time to make this better. And whilst it is slightly better, it's still not ideal. Um, strangely a difficult little job, which shouldn't be that difficult. I don't know if anyone's tried to do it before, uh, especially when accuracy is needed. Um, but we only learn from these things, I guess. So uh, I might try and fettle with this a little bit more before I weld it up, or I might put a few tacks in and that'll, that'll fix the sides that I know that are good. Maybe, I don't fucking know. I'll, you'll see in a minute. You fiddly piece of shit. Oh, Jesus. Ah, there we go. Okay, that last thing you saw me do actually worked quite well. Just beating the living piss out of it with this, uh, this here mashy thing, and that's actually pulled it into shape quite nicely. So, I am now going to take this together, or at least some parts of it together. I still think I can get this nicer, to be honest, but the issue being, right, I probably should have made this like an inch or not, like three or four centimeters bigger. It's really nip it. I'm hoping. <laughs> So whilst it's awesome to have a really tight battery tray, there probably could have been a little bit more tolerance in there. Um, we shall see. I probably need to buy a battery now just to double check that I 3D printed it properly, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. I'm gonna go and take this together, um, at least tack it, and then I can tack it and abuse it a little bit if need be uh, to try and get it into better shape and then we'll get started on the other bit. I'm gonna have a quick scan of some dimensions online for batteries. Nothing to do with batteries. Christ, did I even record that? This looks alright. I'll still grind it back because why not but for TIG I use a pulse setting. Works kinda nice. God damn cheap shitty vices. Oh well, better use it again.
Nice. You know that little bit of burn back. Weldon's looking all right. That 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 pulse was quite nice, apart from the obvious burn back. But I'm gonna I'm gonna thing it all anyway. Uh, grind it back and make it smooth. But yeah, nice to be able to weld stuff that's one mil thick without um, sh shitting oneself and burning holes through it. So uh, this thing is actually I, I found. I found another ever so slightly smaller battery with the same um, cold cranking amps and same amperes and everything so I think we're in an okay place so I'm going to measure up the next bit um, which will be yeah the the panel that I guess sits on sits on top of this uh, cut the sides cut the little extra bits and fold and figure out how I'm going to mount it on the bike um, I might even weld it onto the bike to be honest uh, we'll see. I've not really done that much before. I know a lot of people do do it though, so it uh, could be an option there, I guess. Um, um, yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure that out. So I'm going to go and cut this next. Um, see how we get on. God, for a box with what? One, two, three folds. It's taking me the best part of uh, two hours to try and get this in a place where I want it. I think people appreciate that, especially when they look at it and they go, oh yeah, yeah, that's cool. Nah. Maybe I'm unbelievably slow and shit, but also, yeah, I think just generally that's, it's, it's slow progress, it's slow work. But once I get this done, get the other part done, make a small little bracket for the back, for the uh, the seat, we're just onto the, we're just onto the, yeah, stripping that bike down and starting getting it punted away and getting all the bits sent out to the respective parts. I'm gonna get the tank, Vapor blasted, I can't be arsed dealing with that, so uh, he'll vapor blast that. I might even get him to vapor blast the frame and then I'll just paint that in red with some 2K paint. I'm not going to get it powder coated uh, at this stage. I don't really, I'm not going to 180 on powder coating, but I don't, I think, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll try our own paint in house and see how that goes. Same with the tank, I've got some leftover paint from the Scrambler, so I'm going to, to be honest, this thing's probably going to look a little bit like the Scrambler because I'm going to use those gold wheels on the bike behind me. Initially, it's going to initially look like a scrambler just because I want to make it easy to get a V5. So, white tank, gold wheels, uh, red frame. I'm pretty sure that's what it had before. So, yeah, we'll, we'll go along that route. So, anyway, I digress. Let's go and mark this out with the 2 mil steel. So, I think for the 2 mil steel, we're going to just cut this out, we're going to cut the sides out, and weld the whole lot together. Um, save dicking around with bending and shit like that. I'm just going to make everything out of steel. Two, two mil steel is probably thicker than I would like but it's all I've got and um, so we'll just we've got to use what we've got right so <laughs> not quite got to the um, two mil steel yet because <laughs> you're fall you're literally falling off don't just lick me also the reason that things take a while Oh, no, Jesus. Oh, come
Okay, it is a few days later. Um, I've been bending this shit and getting it all sorted, so I think I'm just gonna have a stab at welding it together. Feeling this in my hands now. Yeah, two mil is probably far too thick for this, but I just gotta gotta use what I've got. Try and get it sorted. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's fire up the TIG welder, get this thing welded together, then get the bottom half of this welded on. Oop, not this. Bottom half of this welded on, and then hopefully. The only thing I didn't really consider that I still need to kind of do is um, probably should have done it with these bits here. Uh, additional fold outs for mounting it to the actual frame itself, but I might have another idea that can also be added after after the fact. So we'll get these get these made first, get this welded together, and hopefully it doesn't end up looking like a giant crock of dog shit. So. What do you think of my slightly less sex offendery safety glasses? Hmm? Hmm? They're kind of dorky actually. But they keep you safe. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, the reason I'm out here is because I'm a gigantic fucking idiot and I want to show you why. Um, I've gone ahead and finished this really nice battery box uh, or electrics tray. This also could be used to put a, some kind of armor plated joke. Anyway, um, for whatever reason, I decided to not check the base plate fitted nicely before I went ahead and built the rest of it because I trusted my ability to measure, which now means I've got this turd of a thing that doesn't fit in a few points, ever so slightly, it's it's so, you won't be able to see it here. Initially I thought, you know what, we'll shave some bits off, I've tried doing that. I didn't really want to go down the route of shaving bits of the frame, because I can't remember how thick this is, and also it's just a slight bit janky. So, uh, the alternative is I load it from below, and then that pushes everything lower down. The whole thing's going to get covered by side panels anyway. But you can kind of see here, it's like, if it's kind of nice, but then it doesn't. So, what I'm thinking is, is, to clean this lens, it's manky. I'm thinking to probably make another, but make it slightly better. So, incorporate the, the top part for mounting, rather than having to put something in, I will make this like a T-shape almost that bends over and then I can mount it directly to the frame same at the back uh, or even same at the back here with these bits fold over um, I'll have a little think about it but it means I'm going to be making another one probably not going to film much of it because I can't really be asked I just want to get on with it but um, I'll show you the finished one but yeah that's quite annoying it's quite because it's quite, I don't know I'm not going to make excuses. Um, I'm going to go and double check my measurement profile that I've got uh, and then make sure whatever I've got is a couple of mils shy of this so there's there's enough tolerance all around. Or one mil shy all around so there's two mil either side. It's still nice and tight. So that's my fun and games. Fuck, turn up and fall. Um, 
Yeah. Okay, um, this is Mark II, which looks and fits as it should, i.e. perfectly, nicely. So, only thing left is to figure out whether I want to weld this directly here, which I can do, which I might just do, to be honest. And then cut these little tabbies at the front slightly and then weld it in or just weld it in here. Ooh, try and get your pinky in Ooh, there and just grind it flat. Um, I still need to uh, finish the rest of this, i.e. to get it all together. It's all just tacked at the moment. And I also need to put the um, battery box on there on the bottom, which needs yeah but um i think that's gonna look pretty good and i'm glad i remade that i'm trying to think about the other one i've not got the other one handy just the other one was just too big slightly whereas this one fits in nicely and should be big enough for what i need um relays shit like that um yeah tough with that so um i'm gonna go and finish Tacking this all together, welding this all together. Um, I go offshore again tomorrow, which is pretty crap. This time's just disappeared like usual. So, uh, plan for next time will be to get all that in place. Uh, get this little seat mount in the back. That's not going to take long. That's just going to be cut a bit of metal, but I'll, I'll do a wee video on that. It should be a good little ten-minute video on how to do that. Um, and then how to mount those. Well, the side panels will probably just be very similar to the mounted as before. And then that's all the fabrication on that bike done because I'm not doing it anymore. I've already done the loop, I did that ages ago. So that's only that's all the fabrication I envisage for this bike. So rip it apart I guess and get it sent out for paint, powder coat and all that kind of shit. So um hopefully it starts to pick up a bit of pace. It's always fun to have something to go back to um, and just and just work on in the background that's a little bit straightforward, more straight, straightforward than Panther, but uh, yeah, so if you like what you saw, i.e. someone doing everything twice because they keep cocking it up, then like, follow and subscribe. My YouTube channel keeps growing, which is brilliant, not sure why, <laughs> so uh, until then I shall catch you in about three weeks, I guess, when I get back to the next, back again, so take it easy guys, have a good one.